Hello everyone, it's Dorian and uh, we are here in Nice at the airport. So we are going uh, to Barcelona this weekend. Um, it's uh, the Super Trofeo, Lamborghini Super Trofeo Championship this weekend. And uh, I will drive with Oregon, uh, my Italian team. And uh, yeah, we we'll go for it. See you there. Hello everyone, so we are here in the paddock, so it's Thursday morning and uh, yeah, all the Lamborghini cars are here and our team is just here and here is the best. Yes. Number 11, Boccolacci Gilardoni. So I show you a bit inside of the car, so of course there is one seat only, the second seat we don't need because we know the track so we don't need a a co-driver so basically he, here is the radio here is the pit limit here is the flash so when a car is in front we can put the pressure and flash him or if uh, it's someone who is uh, really slow and we need to, to tell him that uh, we are coming from the back this is to put the neutral uh, here is the wiper so when it's raining the wiper reverse grid a uh, reverse um, grid Reverse uh, is the reverse, that's it. Uh, page, to change the page here. And uh, here it's uh, ABS and traction control, so we change like this. And uh, here, okay, so this is driver ID, so Dorian or Kevin, Kevin my teammate. So we change just like this or like this. Um, brake bias, repartition frein, here. Uh, start, ignition, every, everything you need to put uh, everything on to, to switch on the, the car and yeah, basically it's uh, everything we, we need here so guys, this is this is for safety reason uh, we have a trap uh, and we can take off it uh, if something happens, a crash or something like that and they need to uh, pull me out or pull a driver out from the car um, they can do it from the, the top of the car. Um, this is uh, really useful. So basically, this is a competitor, and we need to beat him this weekend. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> they are just in front. <laughs> they do all the setup. You can see there. Because because sometimes the paddock is not really flat, and they are doing this like this. We have a base. It's flat, and they can do all the setup. Uh, for the car on the flat spot, you know. Here it's all the engineering side. Here also, and we do all the stuff uh, with the engineer here. So I show you a bit uh, what I bring with me during a uh, race weekend. So obviously my helmet uh, with my uh, logo. Uh, so it's a Stilo helmet uh, here. Uh, I put inside in white I, uh, I prefer I like because uh, it's uh, white here and white here um, this is the older radio system uh, going here so we, we put this trap here uh, like this we don't have the radio uh, going everywhere we know that it's here and for the change of the driver it's always uh, better um, and yeah inside I don't know if you can see but there is the radio system the, the microphone here so yeah, uh, I love these gloves uh, because uh, my um, hand fits really well inside. Uh, it's going very uh, to the extreme end of the gloves. So like this, I can feel really well uh, when I uh, downshift or upshift. And also uh, when I take the, the steering wheel in the end, it's really in really the... So there is also my earplugs. So I plug it here. And this I put in the ear. So it's really... Uh, my phone uh, and it's uh, yeah it's really really nice from ultimate so here I have a bit everything I need to do my warm-up um, yeah I'm three tennis ball or so and uh, I think it's really important oh my god so I think it's really important to do a, a real warm-up in the morning before to drive because sometimes sometimes we don't have um, a lot of time uh, of tests 
in the car before before the race. Sometimes we go directly in the race, and we need to be ready because the best opportunity uh, that we we have uh, it's always at the beginning of the of the race because um, some drivers are not feeling so well in the cars. They need a bit some laps to be in the rhythm, and if you do it, uh, if you do a good warm up, uh, you can maybe be a bit. Uh, a bit better sooner and you can uh, have some good opportunities so I think it's, uh, it's uh, really important to do it Ciao Kevin So, I present you my teammate Kevin Gilardoni How are you mate? I'm good, you? So explain us a bit what you did before to be in the Lamborghini Super Trophy Before in my career? Yeah! Yeah, race go-kart and then uh, single-seater and uh, won the Italian Championship of Formula Renault 2 liters in 2012. Okay. And then uh, I moved to Megan Trophy with Oregon. We finished two times third in the European Championship. So the same team? Yeah, the same team of this year. And then I went to USA to race uh, NASCAR Limited Lane Model okay. for one year and a half. And then I moved to Rally. Rally also? Yeah. How many years in a rally? Uh, five. And uh, we won the Italian Championship Junior to with traction okay and then also six wins overall with okay. the wrc good man and um another question do you do you speak a bit french yeah a little bit Allez, go go for it je suis kevin gilardoni ah <laughs> perfecto je suis 28 28 ans yeah ah perfect so good thanks man Thank we are you. going uh to push this weekend? Yeah, sure. Max yeah? Maximum, maximum push. Maximum. Yeah, maximum. So this is the lead car. Lamborghini Urus. Not bad, huh? So every time I have a book. So this one is the Lambo Lamborghini book. I have the Audi one, the Mercedes one. Uh, here is the map of the track. This is where I, everything I need. Um, so you have a... Uh, well, this is the pen. I put everything inside like this. I don't lose it. And here I put uh, all uh, the change we do on the on the car, all the different setup. Um, also, I put some notes, um, different notes like uh, driving note. Uh, what can what can I improve? Uh, what should we try for next session? Uh, a bit of debrief also from the previous session. I try to put everything. Uh, on my book like this, uh, yeah, I can uh, read it ag again uh, in the evening and uh, try to improve uh, uh, for the day after. So it's, um, I think it's really important uh, to be more clear in your idea, and especially when you drive a lot of cars during the season. Uh, if you don't take note on everything, every, every time you're a bit confused when you go back in the car, so if you have some notes from the previous event, you can uh, easily uh, remember uh, everything you, you spoke and you, you were thinking from the last time. Safety car of the race. Guys, it's uh, Thursday. We have uh, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, test, private test. So we are three drivers in one car today. Uh, my teammate who is uh, sharing the car with me and the other driver, Brazilian driver, who is uh, normally driving with this car. But uh, today he's driving also with uh, our car, um, yeah, just for the private test. And then tomorrow it will be the official test uh, from the meeting. The belt is okay? Yeah. Okay. Radio. Plug here. Prova, prova, prova. No. Prova, prova. No. Prova, mi senti tu? So 
so we are in the paddock so during the weekend there is uh, many categories driving during the dur during the weekend so there is the formula Renault here as you can see and uh, in the box are the GT3 cars and we are just after the formula Renault behind with the Lamborghini Super Sport End of the day so yeah first first uh, day of testing done today uh, there was a, a lot of red flag three red flags we lost uh, during our four hours of testing we lost maybe one hour or one hour 15 of red flags um, so yeah uh, we plan to put uh, new tires for me but uh, we couldn't because uh, we had no, no not enough time so it's a bit a shame uh, but yeah we will uh, we'll Put it tomorrow. Uh, we lost a bit of, uh, of time to, for, for this red flag, but um, yeah, anyway, it's like this for everyone, uh, and uh, yeah, we keep pushing, guys. So, track walk with my teammate and all the stuff. So, we are here in the Barcelona track, and uh, as usual. We go to all the the race track, a track walk before the race weekend. For the Boko TV. For the Boko TV, yes. And for the Boko girls. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we try to to see uh, everything on track, all the curbs, all the uh, maybe some change of tarmac or yeah, the fun. Um, like this, uh, we have more time to see all the little parts of the of the track. Okay, Kevin. So we are on a straight now. Yeah. Where is the breaking point? There. No. Yeah, when we tell, adjust paths, yeah. Tell the truth. It's around uh, 120 meters, 110 meters. Okay. So. Where do you like to break? Yeah, I like to break late, but at the good point. Eh? Yeah. Not too late. So we are Friday morning and today there is still two free practice. So one uh, at the end of the morning and one at the beginning of the, the afternoon. So we will use this free practice to uh, improve a bit the car, the setup of the, of the car, also the, the driving from the drivers uh, to find uh, the limits uh, on the track before the qualifying because qualifying it will be already tomorrow morning. So yeah. Today it's quite an uh, important day to, to improve everything and to be uh, as ready as possible before the qualifying. So guys, I show you a bit our tires. So our tires are from Pirelli. So this is the slicks tires and this is rain tires. So when it's dry, we use these tires. And when it's wet, these tires. As you can see, it's uh, completely slicks. Uh, this uh, new one. This is new, as you can see, and this one are uh, older. You see, 
and uh, you use this one when it's you know, the track it's wet uh, like this you know the the rain or the water are coming from inside and going outside of the tires so yeah for sure if it's raining we we need to use this one so we go to the briefing room now um, so every time before a race weekend all the driver from the category goes to a, a briefing uh, like this everybody have the same information and there is no, no doubt so we are in the briefing room now and they give us a paper like this with all the information we we will have during the briefing and we will need during the weekend so there is quite few things to remember let's go for free practice one one hour of test so he's driving 30 minutes i'm driving 30 minutes and uh, yeah to compare to yesterday we changed fusing on the car on the uh, uh, from the rear wing uh, front spring uh, yeah right high so yeah a uh, few change and uh, let's see if it's better or not so now we we go with my teammate to eat uh, in the hospit hospitality from Lamborghini um, so every midday and every evening we go we go there to eat Not bad, huh? What a man! Working time from the team. Uh, so we, we did uh, the third time. Uh, was not so bad. Uh, we didn't put new tire this morning, but it uh, was fresh tire. Uh, after the other driver, I, I still don't know uh, what they did with the tires, but for sure, I think we, we are going to put new tire for free practice too, just to prepare also the qualifying for, for tomorrow. Uh, we are working on the car actually, and uh, yeah, to try to improve a bit also the, the car, uh, and also myself, so I will work a bit on the, the data and the video also to, to improve uh, where I can improve on the track. And yeah, it's uh, all the details who make the difference, so let's go for it so we finished fp2 i did uh, all the debrief with the engineers uh, on board and uh, data and uh, as usual i put some notes here uh, for the qualifying tomorrow so yeah i, I don't know if you can see but uh, i put uh, all the places where i can improve or where i uh, improved already but i uh, still need a note to remember also for tomorrow morning to read it and to be ready uh, so yeah this is the final map I will have before the qualifying uh, so I will uh, read uh, everything but I think tomorrow it's raining so I don't know we'll see but in case if it's dry uh, I have all the notes So it's already 8.30 and uh, the team is still working out uh, to be ready for tomorrow for the qualifying. Uh, so big, big thanks to all the team because they are working uh, everything, uh, every hour to make, uh, to make the best car possible. And yeah, to win, we don't need to count uh, the work time, but we need, just need to work uh, and finish the job. So I'm in the bed and we can see that tomorrow I have the qualifying at 11 so it, there is a big chance of rain tomorrow. Good morning everyone so it's Saturday morning we have the qualifying at 11 but as we saw yesterday on the forecast, uh, normally it should rain, but actually it's not raining, it's still dry. So maybe we have the qualifying on dry condition and maybe the race on wet condition, but we'll see. 
so I think it's going to be dry. So uh, I'm reading, you know, the note I took yesterday, just after the free practice too. Just uh, yeah, to uh, be everything uh, fresh in my mind, and uh, that's it. But yeah, now I'm doing. So I'm reading the notes, and then I will warm up a bit myself. And... So how are you, mate? I'm good. You? You sleep well? Yeah. Ready for today? Ready for today, you? Yeah. Yes. And? And uh, you, we push like hell. Yeah, okay. Like who? Like hell. Who is hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so, we just finished the qualifying, our qualifying. So, I did the qualifying one and uh, uh, just after me was uh, my teammate who took the car and he did the qualifying too. I did a P2 on my qualifying. Uh, on, Two tenths, uh, two tenths and a half from P1. So yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, for sure, I prefer to do P1, but uh, you, we start in the first row and everything can happen from this position. So we push hard uh, for race one to, to do a good race. And also my teammate did a good job because he did P6, only, um, three, uh, only uh, two tenths from P3. Uh, so really, really tight. And uh, yeah, I think we, we can do some, uh, some good races from this position. Now uh, we are focusing on the race. Uh, so see you later. Um, I will probably put uh, an onboard video. to rain I don't know if you can see yeah you can see the so it's start to rain and the race one it's uh, in what in 1 hour 30 2 hour something so oh Kit Kat yeah this is our overboost for the race for the race yeah one Kit Kat yeah. two tenths two tenths okay perfect perfect and uh, ten Kit Kats two kilos <laughs> This is only for Boko TV, right? Only for Boko TV. Yeah. So, what are you doing? Sleeping before the race? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. After the Kit Kat? After the Kit Kat, you sleep and then you go race. <laughs> perfect, eh? Yeah, perfect shape. Perfect shape. Perfect shape. Okay. Really quite a long time ago, just having a quick check, he was uh, second in the championship, GP3 championship back in 2014. So it shows how the careers of young single-seater drivers can take them to cars with roofs, and both have done very, very well indeed. The car starting second on the grid, Dorian Boccalacci, Oregon team, certainly starting to find some good form in this championship. The best result was uh, second place last time out, and that was his car shared with Kevin Gillardoni. So he's just explaining to Kevin exactly what he fancies doing. So apparently we win the race. That was a good job uh, from all the team and uh, was on tricky conditions, drying with wet tires. Uh, it's a bit uh, humid the track. But honestly, we did a, a, a good job today and now we focus on the So, Kevin, tell me a bit uh, what what was the secret to to win this race? We can't say the secret because it's a secret. But uh, I can tell you that it's Kit Kat. Ah, so you tell the secret uh, at yeah, the end? Yeah, I tell the secret. Okay, so it's the Kit Kat, the Kit Kat you, you eat just before? Yeah. Give you all the energy to... All the energy. Oh so my god. For the life, Kit Kat before the race. Okay, so good job, mate. First win. First win. So uh, I will explain a bit uh, the race, how it went. Uh, so I, I was starting uh, P2. Uh, then uh, then uh, we start on a safety car. A procedure because what wet was wet uh, so we do the, the start I was P2 then I knew that in the first uh, few corners or the first few laps uh, is there where you need to to do the job because uh, there is a lot of time to gain there uh, already in the fifth corner I was uh, outside uh, on trying to overtake the first but uh, he just didn't let me uh, 
the, the space on the outside and he pushed me out. Uh, so I lost uh, one position, so I was P2 trying to overtake P1, but then I was P3 and uh, a lot of meter behind. And uh, he had he a had, uh, penalty, three seconds of penalty because of that. Um, then at the pit stop, uh, we came back P2, just behind this car, and uh, we finished just behind uh, the car who took the penalty. Uh, so at the end, we finished uh, P1. Uh, so yeah, but they deserve the penalty for sure, and they deserve even more, I think. But you, I will put, I will post, uh, I will put uh, the video of uh, uh, the move he did, and uh, just tell me uh, what what do you think about this move. Uh, and yeah, my teammate did a really really good job at the end. Uh, so yeah, P1, race one, perfect. Happy or not? Happy, very very happy. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we go eat. We go eat like yeah. a couple. Under, we share the rain. We share the the, the car. car, but not not only. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> and just the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, we go to to eat. So it's still wet on the paddock. I just finished to eat and uh, the race, race two will be tomorrow morning, end of the morning. So we will see if uh, it's still raining during the night or if, if, it's, if it will be dry uh, for the race. Uh, but anyway, uh, we prepare everything and uh, we will be ready for tomorrow, for race two. It was a good day. Bonjour. So new Bye. day, new challenge? New day, new challenge with a foggy window. Perfect. So let's go. Security control. No. Hola. Vale. Perfect. So we are in business to go in the track also today, yeah? Yeah. Flat out the start. So now I explain you our secret of yesterday. We have to go into the fridge. Go, go into the fridge. Oh my God. This is one, one for me and one for Dorian. No, but you, you took only one yesterday. Eh? Yes, so today we took two because we need to, to win with Morgan. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is for you, mate. Perfect. Cheers. Hello everyone, so ready for race 2? So today it's sunny, no cloud, but it's still uh, humid on the floor because uh, it rained uh, all, all uh, yesterday night. Uh, yeah, so for sure the race will be on dry condition uh, because it will dry and uh, my teammate will take the start. So we, we watch a few videos uh, from start, from the past, from G in GT3 and everything, to prepare as much as possible the start and to, to know where are the tr tricky parts. And uh, also we watch uh, you know, the entry of the pit and the exit of the pit. Uh, so yeah, we try to prepare as much as possible and uh, and we also watch a few videos from uh, uh, qualifying because it was on dry condition and like this we can take uh, uh, all, the, all the good notes from the, the qualifying because it's the same condition, dry. Even at this late stage of this race, the final lap of the race, Dorian Pocalacci stealing a bit of tarmac wherever possible, but he's cruising to the finish. The work was done with his teammate Kevin Gilladoni doing a really great opening stint to the race. Dorian Bocal actually pushed very hard after his pit stop. Now he has to push very little further through turn 14, through turn 15. The next one is 16. It's the last one of the lap. And what a weekend for the Oregon team. This Italian French pairing Kevin Gilladoni from Italy and Dorian Boccalacci backs it right off. No need to race to the finish because he has this one in the bag. The chequered flag is waved. What a phenomenal weekend they've had. Two days, two races, two wins. So guys, two victory, two races to victory. Uh, a really good job from all the team, from my teammate. And uh, yeah, we drove very well. And we did. A, we, we made a, a really good car for the race. So yesterday was on a wet condition, and today on dry. So what else? Huh? Good job.
A bit of pasta with a tiramisu from Lamborghini Squadra Corsa. So, the Kit Kat was working well or what? The Kit Kat chocolate. was working really well because yesterday we say we won for the Kit Kat and this morning I say we won, we will win with more gap with two Kit Kats. So, and this happened. But it happened. So, so now, and now we take a tiramisu as a dessert after yeah. the race. Always, big tiramisu. Buon appetito! So guys, I think it's going to be the last video. Uh, thanks to follow the, all the video till the end and uh, yeah, it was a really really good and really special moment here. Uh, two wins, two races. Um, so yeah, it was our first win for the team, for me and for my teammate because we are new in the championship. And we are keep working out and smart uh, till the end of the of the season to have more moments like this. Uh, yeah, just amazing moment. See you guys.